I've been driving the 2021 Volkswagen ID4 Pro S and I've driven it before many times already and with this video I wanted to show the different ways to recharge the battery first of all let's see where we are in terms of our battery life here we are at 34 percent so since the last charge we've driven almost four hours 78 miles very slow speed 20 miles an hour and now the battery has a range of uh, 90 miles left around 34 percent and this is one of the charging stations from Electrify America. This car comes with a three year free charging service from Electrify America. And this will be the fastest way to do it, obviously, since this is a fast charging station. So according to the data here, a level one 120 volt outlet from zero to 100 will take from 50 to 80 hours to recharge. A level two, zero to 100, seven and a half hours. And a level three, like this one from Electrify America, will take zero to 80% in an estimated 38 minutes. So here at this shopping center, Dateline in Miami, this will be obviously the fastest way to charge it. So let's say this is it's Sunday, 1.50, let's say we're gonna go for a brunch. We'll take an hour and a half. When we come back, it will be fully charged. So that will be obviously the fastest way to recharge the Volkswagen ID4. So this is not my car and I don't have the app for Electrify America on my phone, but this is just to show you how it would be. There's another electric car, Kia Kona EV. So it will just, you will tap here your phone Follow the instructions and plug and plug here. But now I'm gonna go home and I'm gonna show how to charge it with a wire that comes with the car at the regular power outlet, like like if you will charge your cell phone, and then show how will I charge it with the level 2 charger that I have installed in my house. Okay, now I'm going home and I'm going to try the other two levels, one and two. So another option to recharge or top off your electric car can be a charging station at a public park like this one here in South Miami. In this case, we have a Nissan Leaf connected completely free of charge of money. I mean, charge of money uh, for the Nissan Leaf. And this is a level two station. So this will take seven and a half hours to recharge the whole thing, but they are probably getting a little bit of extra energy for the rest of the day while the owners enjoy sometime here at the park. So let's try the level one charger. The wire, the cable that comes with the car. This has not even been used, so it hasn't even the plastic protector so I have a regular outlet here my front yard so now it is connected green lights it's charging green light again you can see these green lights here let's see what kind of information we got here so today is Sunday 1.21 p.m. and with a level one charger this will complete the charge on Tuesday 3.21 p.m. it's right now at 32 percentage has a range of 74 miles so obviously a long time 
Sunday 121, Tuesday 241. Not the most efficient way to do it. So now to show the best way to do it at, at home at least, to have one of these. A level 2 charging station, in this case Blink. This one has a delay timer, so I can start it now, in 2 hours, in 4, 6 or 8, depending uh, on the times where the energy is cheaper. So, for now, I'm just going to connect it to show you the timing of the full recharge. So, same thing here. White light means it's connected. I have to turn it on actually. So now it's on. Charging. And let's see the difference. So this one, level two, again, Sunday, 127. So this will end tonight at 8.57 p.m. Much sooner than Tuesday, obviously. And now we have 32 percentage, 73 miles. A much better way to do it.